Hello, everybody out there on YouTube. Once again, it is the wait for middle aged guys just bullshitting about nothing. I am the Reverend. The theme here. Gray Mouse One. Chang Long 32. Yep, yes, indeed. We've got Chang Long 32 sitting on fourth chair tonight. We're going to go ahead and run in and we're going to continue on with our set of reviews that are a few months late. Uh, <laughs> let's just be honest. June 10th this year was the Netflix release for Voltron Legendary Defender. And you guys must have been wondering, especially since we did the two previous videos earlier this year for like trailer reactions and stuff like that. So since they went ahead and they, they talked about it, June 10th came around. We didn't say nothing about it. Well, we finally got around to sitting there and watching all the episodes. And this particular video is going to be our review. We thought about it. Guys. Voltron Legendary Defender. I know we have lots of thoughts. Who wants to go first? Um, let's. What was your initial thoughts as far as wow? There's a brand new Voltron on on TV or on right. Netflix. Um, go ahead, Cheng. Um, I was like, I hope it's not like like Nickelodeon. That was my <laughs> first thought that went to my mind. My first thought. More please know. <laughs> And once I watched the first episode, I was thanking Jesus. Yep. Dean, you want to go next? I was like, look, there had to be certain th tests that this passed when I first saw the trailer. I was like, number one, they better have, you know, lions coming together in a very animated fashion. They don't have to do it as back then. It's just like back then. They just have to do that. They just couldn't show them going up and then just coming back down. No, there better be forming. <laughs> Check. Blazing sword. Check. And a few other things that we're not going to say yet. Okay, right. But those, I didn't care about animation because animation is going to be due to the times. That's true. Now, as soon as I saw DreamWorks and Voltron coming, cut, carving out the moon, I was like, okay, I'm going to turn this up now, <laughs> and I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to go make me a fucking sandwich, and I'll be right back, because that's what got me hooked onto the shit in the fucking first place when I saw Voltron himself cutting that fucking moon DreamWorks logo, and I'm like, um, okay, all right, fine. Okay. Hey, Mouse, go ahead. Your thoughts, your initial thoughts. Oh, Lord. A plus. Oh, oh this was oh, initial, wait, wait, wait. This initial, initial thought. thought. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you gave it an A plus for about watching it? God damn, you got more yeah. fun in it than anybody else. We're saving the grades for the end, all right? No, um, uh, uh, A plus, 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 I yeah. look. When I saw DreamWorks, I was done. I, I, was, I was done right then and there. I was like, yeah. I mean, what, Shrek was going to guest star. <laughs> it took me. It took me five minutes into the episode, and I was done. Because I was, I was the same way. I had my list of like, okay, this, 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 and this, and everything got checked off, and then some. I didn't have a list. I was just. As long as it wasn't Nickelodeon, but anyway. Yeah, well, look. Uh, well, Nickelodeon I'll, didn't stay true to Voltron, so that's valid. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I'll say this right now, okay? Uh, at least it didn't have Keith running around with a blazing sword outside of the fucking lions. So I'm very happy about that, okay? Um, yeah, look. Uh, Voltron, the legendary defender. If you, if you don't get it by now... We all liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, and the, the truth of the matter is, is that Studio Murr, the same studio behind the Avatar series, uh, especially Avatar Legend of Korra, um, they went ahead and they, they went whole hog into this. And from the very beginning, from the very first episode, um, it was very obvious that these guys were fans of the original Voltron series back in the 80s. Okay. All throughout the all throughout the the series, there are little nods to this series going a all little, back. a little, 
Well, no. no. Are you we'll, fucking? We'll, we'll cover those. We'll we'll cover those we'll spoilers later. Give us a minute. Give us a minute. Yeah, yeah. We'll cover those spoilers later. But like I said, something we want to say on that. Trust yeah, me. we're 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 gonna get there. Okay, but <laughs> this particular this particular uh, project, as it was, especially when you have somebody coming back and they're visiting something that's hell over thirty years old now. You. Whenever you sit there and you mention reboot or remake to anybody who's noticed something from their childhood, the first thing that was going through my mind with just like everybody else can probably agree. The first thing that was going through my mind when I heard about it was, I hope they don't fuck this up. Thankfully, I can confidently say that they didn't fuck it up. That being said, before we go ahead and we get into the things that we really, really liked about it, what are some of the things that kind of bugged you or that you that kind of struck you as odd was there anything at all uh i'll go first on this and i can say without a shadow of a doubt there is nothing wrong at all with that with the new voltron defender of the universe it look i i I cannot find a fault i tried you you know what's funny about that i found fault in the old series. That's, that's the point, yes, it's better than the old series. Here's, here's, here's the thing about the old series. The first five episodes of it was just, we find Alliance, we form Voltron. How? How are you motherfuckers? Wait, did you have training on Voltron parts? Did you? Wait a second here. You, I'm about to go to what you're talking about now. You're, 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 it's like, wait a minute, you already know how to form it? No. Now, this one, the DreamWorks version, there was trial and errors. Yes. <laughs> Everything. And that's, due to the personalities of the characters, that's what fuels the show. There's just enough comedy. There's just enough seriousness. There's a lot of trials and a lot of errors. And you will understand it. They didn't romper room this for us. Everybody that's watching this can understand the trials and tribulations that everyone is going to through and the interaction with the characters, especially Keith and yeah. Lance. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. There were certain points, and then there's Hunk. Yep. Points where I could not stop laughing. <laughs> Before we get into that, Shane, what are, like I said, anything that you might have had reservations on? The main reservation for me was, like I said, um, informing it, you know, were they going to bring in extra members? Like like I said, like when I don't want to mention anymore, because to me, it's like the Zeldas, like my boy said before, they, it didn't exist. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. I see nothing wrong. If anything, it, it enhanced the original because the storytelling was better. Yeah. And I'm going to touch on that later when we go into it. Yep. Storytelling was way better. The only thing I may have to say is, of course, there had to be a line on this, but I'll get into that later. I, I kind of can touch on why it was there because of the way the story was told. So, yeah. yeah. I do have one real big major fucking reservation about this series, right? And that is this. When's fucking season two? This is way too fucking short. <laughs> season two will be later this year. Yeah. I, I'm just I'm just saying this so this year is gonna creep up on us. It's already October twenty sixteen. Well no, you know, no. I'm seven months. It's already September. It feels like October. It's already se- late September 2016. They better come with this soon. Yep. But like I said, you know, that's my only reservation on I don't, oh I don't want to make it look like as a group we're filleting this particular project. But the truth of the matter is, is that as old school fans who were around to actually watch the original adaptation that was brought here to the States back in 1984, <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal remake. Um, there's a lot of things that, that were really, really smart uh, that they did. And, and let, me, let me go ahead and start this particular portion off. One of the things that, that was changed that I thought was really good and really smart was that, <clears throat> you know, you mentioned the characters. Hunk, Keith, Lance, um, Hidge. Hidge. 
and then Shiro. And then Shiro. yeah, I, I, there might be some people out there going, Shiro, who the fuck was Shiro? Well, mm-hmm. if you remember the original, uh, the original series, there was uh, the original pilot of the Blue Line was Sven, mm-hmm. and he got he got into a fight with Hagar. He got killed. Everybody thought, mm-hmm. um, and then he ended up coming back later. But the Japanese name in the Japanese Good. version of the anime for Sven was Shiro. Right. I so they went that. ahead. Mm-hmm. The, it was uh, something Shirogane, and they went ahead and they they went and ahead they and cut it that, used it, cut it short, and they used Shiro for you know the the pilot of the of the black line which was, that was the one great that was and it is interesting that they did brilliant they changed it, they changed it a little bit. as soon as it, wait yeah i i thought all of that was brilliant i was like oh my gosh Cheryl's the leader i'm like yeah. interesting and the way they went about it is fucking brilliant you know what i thought was brilliant was the slapstick <laughs> nothing is out of place as far I as the mean, slapstick the jokes were point on and it was something that that I would think they would do. I think one of my favorite ones when they were trying to phone Voltron when they stacked lions on top of each other. Oh, I, was yeah. like, oh, I, was, oh. I was like, yeah. Hunk, hunk, you're a leg. You're at the bottom. Well, it's not my turn to be the head? No. <laughs> sure was the head. You sure, you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> the slap stick was sad on. They stacked the lions. And the one thing I did like oh. was, in a nod, they kept true to the original. One of the members is a girl. You just don't find that out until about five episodes in. Yep. But they still kept it there. Yeah. I mean, if, if, you're, if you haven't figured this out by now, look, the series was released out in batch in June 10th. It should go without saying that, yes, a lot of the things that we're going to talk about may be spoilers if you haven't gotten around to it. So... If you haven't figured it out now, there will be spoilers. We will be talking about things in this series that are not obvious. If you have issues with that, you can go ahead and hit the X button up here if you're on Windows, or the X button over here if you're on fucking Mac. Or okay. you can swipe us away on a portable device. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, what... What type of things did they change that didn't actually go ahead and, and insult your intelligence, guys? Uh, uh, I, I know the, the, this is the one thing that really amazed me was the fact that they, they went out of their way and it wasn't the same old, you know, copy and paste from the original one. Exactly. They changed a lot of aspects from each and every character. And they went ahead and they brought it forward and they did it in a very, very smart way. What are some of the changes that, you know, stick out to you as something really, really smart? One right, of the I changes can... I thought was the uh, the hand weapons. Oh, uh, the Bayards. Was, yes, I thought that was that was very intelligent for what they did, and then they integrated that into the lions, and you know got the lion uh, weaponry as well. I was like, yes. The connection between the lions and yeah. the one that can, and the one that it's made for, I was like, okay, if we're gonna do this, let's let's do this right. And they got everything correct in that aspect as far as describing the lion and who was going to be the pilot for that, for that fucking lion. They got all that correct. And what, what were the lions doing? They, first of all, they had to learn each and everything for these lions and which they haven't yet. Sure. The lions communicate with the pilot. They talk to them. My lion is telling me this. My Wait. The lion is telling me something, and next thing you know, something happens, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, and you can actually feel that. <laughs> that, that was brilliant storytelling as far as it's like, okay, yeah, and that goes with what Grey Monster was saying, the weapons. All of that comes together with character. Yep, yep. I, what about I, you, love, I, love, the, I love the way that they, they introduced the red lion. <clears throat> I thought that was brilliant. Keith is, Keith is a hothead in this series. Yes, I thought that was brilliant. And they were like, the Red Lion, you have to earn the Red Lion's and respect. Or <laughs> they going to do that. Princess Allura said that. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So how is that going to happen with this fucking hothead? What about you, Shane? What, 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 what thing changed did you like? 
you know, from the three. Okay. Um, I got I got three main points. The first one is that Allura and Karen weren't looking like humans. They were actually <laughs> aliens. Humans with Zelda ears. Yes. I, they were still aliens, and you could tell. <laughs> they were not yeah. Yeah. Um, second part of that love is the simple fact that they had to go literally find them on different planets. They weren't on one planet. They had to go look for them, and it, it made sense why the blue one was on Earth, because he hid it on Earth. Makes sense why the red one, why the dark one had the red one because he found it first. Yeah. It made a lot of sense how things went. And the yeah, third the one is if you didn't have the first, just like just like in the old school with the, with, with the uh, toys, if you didn't have all the lions, you weren't from a Voltron, and since the black lion would not turn on without mm-hmm. all having all of them there, that to me made sense. The lions bowed to the black lion when they got to him. Yeah. Pretty much. And I love that. Basically meaning that if you don't have all the other lines, ain't no point even trying to work the black one, which all this perfectly made sense to me. Well, um, before we go to the next segment, I want to mention something that, um, that Shay Long said was that if you saw towards the end of the first season, you started seeing the, uh, the, the intro that the lions, the green lion came out of the forest. The blue lion came out of the water. That never that happens in the series. Fire. And I was like, and, and the yellow line came out, or I was like, yes, 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 and yes. The funniest thing about that is that doesn't happen in the series. That only happens in the intro. Yeah. Well, as and we that know, pays homage, that pays homage to all of us. As we know, as as season two is coming. Okay. Because okay. some people will probably have that complaint. And it's like, wait a second here. So in old school, how did they fucking teleport through these lions in their dens in yeah. second when both well, hang, on. Needed? hang on, before before you go into that, it's like at the very end of the series, they get split up, right? We all know that. They go into different parts. So what I'm thinking is season two is that's where they're gonna go to their different planets or whatever. They're in different environments. So that's what I think that's season two coming up. I mean that's just my anyway. But yeah. like like uh, Shailong was saying, it's like, look, the green lion came out of the out of the out of the forest. Yeah. I was like, yes. Well, let me go ahead and and, and throw in mine since I haven't had a chance to. Um, <laughs> the, the one thing that I liked about it that they changed up that was uh, that was really really um, that was really smart was the fact that and you, and you guys covered a lot of it. But not only did they go ahead and they they reflect the lines and the pilots as far as okay um you know these guys have to go ahead and connect with each other that the personalities match up but they actually made the characters real characters because let's be honest with the original voltron it was pretty much oh we've got moments of them sitting around in the castle and then something happens then it's a race to get into the lions when they finally get into the lions it's a race to fucking form voltron blazing sword you should have done this in the first five fucking minutes of the fight and it would have been all over right you know that's that's the general thing but they actually made it where it was like you had to give you actually cared about each and every pilot as a character, which was great. Yeah, I mean, including the princess, yeah. all right? And the princess wasn't just somebody who was sitting there, you know? Right. With the princess and four other people. Yeah, you know, and, and, and I said this in one of the previous videos, all right? In the very first Voltron Legendary Defender video, I said that if they don't bring back the fucking mice, I wouldn't fucking mind. In fact, that was the one thing that annoyed me most about the original fucking series. But they actually go out of their way to explain this this time. Yeah, they actually explain why the Princess Laura could go ahead and fucking communicate with the mice. Yes, I know it's some hoity toity, like build your own, you know, connect the dots fucking pseudoscience. But it actually made fucking sense. You know, you know? Wait a minute. we're gonna try to com- like explain science. This is alien technology, okay? Look, yeah, I'm not. Look, I'm not. I'm, I'm not guy, going look, there. Look, I'm a middle aged guy. My name is the theme, and I hate nieces to pieces. But this time, they brought these. They brought these nieces. Everything made sense when they <laughs> threw it in there. I the thing about it is, here's one thing I said about the original series a long time ago. I'm like, wait a minute. So if anyone had the keys to these lines, anybody can pilot them? No, this time, the keys are not relevant here. Mm-hmm. The pilot must connect to you in order to get in there. Okay. Yep. All right. Before we 
before we get into 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 like really really deep things all right and this might take a a little bit longer for each of us um what were your favorite moments in this series all right actually pick two okay at most okay Damn, only two uh yeah because the thing is there's four of us i know i don't have that much time <laughs> okay so who's going first oh god few well, guys. i could go first what i'll do right, is, right, uh, um the slap stick it was just something that that fit it wasn't out of place it was almost like the peanut slap stick you know what i mean it was just it, it was there where it's supposed to be and it there were some serious times and there were some slapstick times. It was perfectly placed. And my second would be just the general characterization of all characters in that show. There is not a single character on that show that doesn't matter. All of them are integrated. All of them have stories. All of them have unique stories to each of them. And it's, it's like even, even the bad guys, aren't. it's all just... It was perfect. I, mm. I, 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 okay, next. <laughs> Somebody else? I guess I'll, I'll chime in next. Um, Go ahead, Shank. For me, it had to be they didn't, when they did, when they formed Voltron, they still had to figure out how to fight, how to get the weapons. And, you know, like I said, you know, the flying was telling them how to you know, bring out these, like the sword or bring out the gun. And we know there's going to be more weapons later, probably in season two. Because we still got three more lions that haven't shown nothing yet, and my I say my second favorite part is just the princess in general. They've given they basically turned her character into not just oh I'm Princess Allura. Her whole character revolved around saving a planet. She could change into and adapt to another race. I mean they gave her the full alien treatment and didn't leave her human i'm alien i got we got high tech check this out this is what we do and i loved it because it was nothing like the original where you could have put her on earth and she would have been an earthling oh no not in this not in this series <laughs> her character alone for me made the series because it i like the rest of him don't get me wrong but the changes to her alone boosted it up real big for me because it it falls in place with everything else. Yeah. What about you, theme? To concur with what Grey Mouse and what Shane Long just said, the slapstick was awesome. Seconds to ticks. That was hilarious. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's that's one. Number two what Shane Long said. Every character, including the lions, has character and everything has meaning. Everyone has meaning. No one is out of place. No one is like, if we could take this character away or this lion away from the show, it just would be the same. No, this isn't Meg from Family Guy. Everybody has meaning here. And two more things, the fights. I love the way the fights interacted with the characters, not just showing all five going, ah, every time Voltron gets hit. No, for a specific lion, it'll cut to this person while the fighting's going on or while, while something's going on. And the lion will react a certain way along with the character. And the soundtrack. The soundtrack is one of the main things that kept me into the fucking show along with everything else that was going on. Love the fucking soundtrack. I gotta get a hold of that fucking soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll probably be able to to, to oh, find that. Yeah. I'm oh, we'll, be, we'll be trolling through the land of uh, of parrots and peg legs soon I'm enough. Sure <laughs> that was the only thing that I put only not only not only not I would give Nickelodeon was I still like the Swiss Beats intro. But that's no. about it. That's about it. That's about All right. it. What okay. about what about you, Reverend? Um, the, the things that I liked about it, since you guys covered a lot of the things that were on the top of my head, uh, what I have left is actually, I think it's still pretty great. Um, the, uh, the, the, my favorite parts, like I said before, very, very smart callbacks to the original series. Uh, okay. The folks who went ahead and did this, the guys at Studio Mer who put this together, they knew the original series and they're diehard fans. When they started doing the Voltron formation quotations from when they took off in the castle, yes. 
I was not expecting that at all. When I heard that the first time, I fell out of my fucking seat. Okay. I, I was clapping. I was doing oh. this right here. <laughs> you know, mega thrust to speed oh, <laughs> and stuff like that. I was just, I heard that. I was like, yeah. Wait a minute, this is this is familiar. Then I thought about. It, I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Mega are go. I had yep. to re- look. I had to rewind that to. I was like, wait a minute. He didn't just say that, did he? It, yeah. It was Princess Lura. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. When Princess Lura was taking off the castle, like I said, absolutely. That right there. That moment. Oh. Even even after the other little nods they had they had gotten to up until that point, that proved to me that they were big fans when they made this. All right. The second thing that really stood out to me that that was that was great. Um, is that they made Zarkon a threat. Not just a threat, but a badass, okay? Ooh. Zarkon... Ooh. Him. Yeah. Zarkon soloing the Red Lion <laughs> by himself. <laughs> okay? And sitting there going out of his way saying, hey, look, the whole reason why the king didn't want you to bring the, the, the lions to me is because I am the first black paladin. And pilot of the, of the Black Lion. I it, love that. It was awesome. And like I said before in previous uh, videos, Blazing Whip, I fucking called it. It's going to show up. Sarkon and that, had it. Yes. <laughs> Dude, no, he, he, had every, no, he had every version of their no, weapon. He had their yep. weapons. Yep, he had all of their weapons. All right. And he was kicking the Red Lion's ass. Yep. Yep. I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things... Um, no, it's one of those things uh, that that it was like. I I I I, I thought it was great. I mean, with that 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 story plot was that he was the original black light. Because I was like, wait a minute, when he had that, I was like, are you kidding me? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I love the fact of what Reverend just touched on. Zarkon a threat. He wasn't just sitting on a fucking throne. Yeah. No, yeah. when they came to him, he went to work. He went out there and he took on Keith the Red Lion alone. Not just held his own, but he fucking bested him. But wait, 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 wait. What does that say about Keith though? Well, he Well it no, he and the thing is ass, man. No, he's inexperienced with the yeah. Red Lion. Yeah, and the and the thing is, is that I don't think I don't think uh, it was it was anything that was done there to sit there and go, oh yeah, these guys aren't aren't shit. No, it's just the fact that it was like, no, there's a reason why this guy has taken over most of the known universe. All right, and there's a reason sending out yeah. troops, but he is the actual fucking threat. Well, yeah. ten thousand years, True. he's been ran wild for ten thousand years, and he took over, and it explains it. He took over solar systems. Yep. I mean, it's a known universe he owns. Well, here's, yeah, we're here, and Earth is way. Yeah, it's like, what? <laughs> he took it way over. <laughs> oh, yep. he didn't even get there. Yep. <laughs> and when they make Koran a notable character, that's when I was like, yes. Yes. When he, he meant nothing. In the first one, she was, Allura didn't mean anything until she was the Blue Lion. Yep. The only thing Karan was known for was get to your lions. Yep. And get it. fucking Princess T. That was the only thing was fucking known for. The main was more important. I mean, seriously, it was it was a swan song. This whole anime what is a swan song to the original series, and then some. Yeah. I, I, I mean, okay, the way it ended. Give me second. Give me the second season. That's all I gotta say. Let, let me tell you something. All right, DreamWorks, if you're listening, <laughs> bring back Pirates of Dark Water. Do it like this. Continue Young Justice. Do it like this. Please do something. Even bring back fucking Turbo Team and do it like this. <laughs> I don't fucking care. I wouldn't mind seeing reboot come back. <laughs> Well, I mean, guys, what, what do you expect? This this came from a company that did the last Airbender. What do you fucking expect? That's a damn look. Watch that shit if you haven't already. I'm just going to say that. 
So I was or I went into this already knowing it was going to be good, pretty much. Um, on that well, Grey Mouse, we've we been burned by Voltron before. Yeah, yeah. I, I I got burned twice. One by the 3D version, and then one <laughs> by making me like the intro, and then screwing me in the end. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I I went to this with with the thinking hey, of hey Shira hasn't been redone yet. Bring back Shira and do it like this. Like I, like I said at the beginning of the video, please don't Nickelodeon it. And like I said, it's I seen nothing wrong in anything they did, and I I love the way, especially Pidge Pidge's character. It I gave, like that one the most. I agree. It gave him. It gave her depth. Her it really did. Depth. It gave her a lot of depth. Oh because my god! Oh. So Go ahead, Reverend. Okay, I, I had another one of those aneurysm moments. Um, <laughs> um, and I know you guys love it when I ha when this happens when I throw this this type of thing out. Um, do you realize the way that they set up Pidge and her brother that they set up? An opportunity and an opening to possibly the vehicle force. We can be a vehicle force. I know. Oh, and yeah. I was about to, I, was I about saw that. that. I saw that. By the way, they thought it's funny because uh, Pidge is looking at him, looking at his girlfriend, and not knowing that it was her and a picture of her and her brother. Yeah. I thought I was like fucking brilliant. And yes, she came out and said that she was a girl. A couple of people already knew. Yeah. Except Lance, and he flipped out. I was going to say, Lance's reaction was like, Pidge is a girl? Just just the animation, I was like... <laughs> just, I mean, Lance and Keith. God damn. I, mean, I love the way... I love Pidge's character depth, depth, the way they went. If I got to say a favorite character of mine, it's the fact Especially from the last two episodes, I was watching Lance, man. The stuff he was saying, let's just go in there, man, and beat him down and come back out. Word. I'm like, this fool was always just trying to be cool, and he wasn't. <laughs> I, you know what? Quiet. Yeah. You know what's funny is that I think, I know it's pretty obvious by, by the way the sentiments and the comments that we made that we probably go on for another 30, 40 minutes. We are running a little bit short on this particular video. Um, maybe we'll go ahead and we'll do a secondary one where it's just bullshitting about the video, uh, about the series. We're uh, just talking about random stuff on it. But let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Uh, are, any final thoughts on it, folks? Uh, 30 seconds or less? Go ahead, Shane Long. My final thought is, if you ain't watched it, watch it. It has a great storyline, great characters, and you will not regret you, if you gotta go get a nine 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 description to Netflix like to see this, it'll be the best ten dollars you ever spent. Trust me. Look, What's your grade? What's your grade? Give us your grade. Five. Five stars out of five. five. Nothing. Five. Just, just, just like just like back in the day with R. Kelly, I see nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Already theme. Okay. okay, look. Watch the first five episodes of the old Voltron, and then watch this. Just for, just to concur with what Shane Long just said, watch this fucking series. You will be hooked, period. It will hook you because, especially if you're open-minded, grade five out of fucking five, season two, come on out. Don't young justice us. Don't pirates of dark water us. Come on out. That's, that's all I got to say. Gray Mouse. With me, like I said, or like everybody else has said before me, look, if you're a fan of the original series, this actually should have took place off the original series. That's just how good it is. And my grade is A+. Plus. All right. We'll give it a five. Hey, all righty. I think I'm going to echo everybody else. I'm not – no dissenting opinion here. A five out of five for me. It's a great story. It's, it's a great remake. It far exceeded any of my expectations. Like I said, my expectations were pretty low, and the only thing I was, I was thinking was that please don't fuck this up. Studio Mur, A-plus job, bang-up job. They did it great. You know, and that's pretty much our thoughts on Voltron Legendary Defender, at least for this video. Wait, uh, one thing I could say they missed. I wish they would have put more lightning while they were performing. That would have been a better, that would have been a better <laughs> old school one. But I understand they didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. 
they, they couldn't well, in, introduce well, everything. But well, let, let me go ahead and wrap this one up. We only got less than a minute left. Like I say at the end of every video, if you're so kind, hit like, hit subscribe, leave us a comment below. I am the Reverend. The theme here. Great Mouse One. Tang Long 32. <sighs> Four and blazing sword and it wasn't a fucking whip. Well, Zarkon had the whip, but he had the sword, he had the sword, he had the fucking sword. He had the sword. Credits.